Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw a mixture of Squidward and Chainsaw Man, okay? So follow along, and it's going to be super simple and easy, okay? Let's do it together. I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to draw Squidward's nose. So it's going to have a curve around the corner there. Pull down here. Pull up. like a Looks like a teardrop. And pull up here, kind of toward the face. I'm going to go over here on this side. Circle here. Curve up. Down over here, out for the mouth. Pull back. Kind of kind of like a smile area, line over here. Gonna go over here in this area. Circle here for the top of the head. He's got this huge bulbous top of the head, okay? Remember that. And it's gonna curve pretty far back, so curve over here to the back. Kinda like a, almost like a light bulb. Down over here, and his mouth has his own shape, so we're gonna go around here and down underneath. Curve around right there, like so. <clears throat> I'm gonna go over here to the front of the face. And I'm going to pull a line right here for kind of the eyelid. Curve line right here for the uh, pupil. We can fill that in, except for maybe like a highlight at the front. I'm going to go right here and I'm going to throw a line across the forehead. A couple lines. Over here in this area, down. Down. Line over here maybe for the neck. But now we're gonna get to the chainsaw man part, okay? So I'm gonna have kind of the chainsaw come around here. So I'm gonna go line out forward, curve around the corner, and it's gonna come back kind of right at the nose area. Cool. I'm gonna put a, uh, kind of another line right here on the inside. Right on. And I'm gonna draw a line every now and then for these chains. Put a spike right here for the actual chainsaw. Spike right here, smaller spike right here. Spike, 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 spike. In between these, you're gonna put smaller spikes at an angle, right? It's gonna kind of capture uh, that chainsaw look. They're gonna be slightly angled, so kind of. Keep in mind that those are gonna be smaller. Sorry guys, I'm a little bit sick still. I still got a little bit of a nose thing going on. I've been sick for like a week, but I'm finally got, like I said, I'm getting over it really. And it's really just got a, like a little bit of a lingering kind of sickness going on. Right on. Gonna go over here in this area, line, line, cause I want it to look like it's moving, right? Line, line. And let's put a couple of random thin, try to make it thin if you can scratches on the chainsaw right there and what you can also do is put these little stains right here on this side All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like a thicker line around the outside of everything. And the reason I want that to happen is because it kind of gives it a little bit more of a sticker-like look when we do that.
right there. A little bit of a thicker line, just on the outside, kind of like the silhouette area. Sometimes you can do this to any drawing and it kind of makes it uh, look better sometimes. So it's gonna be up to you to kind of like judge whether you think it looks better or not. Uh, so always kind of, you know, make that uh, kind of appearance. Also, it's kind of like, it can be a style as well. Don't forget, by the way, to hit the subscribe and click and share this video. If you like this video, please share it with somebody. It helps the channel out a lot. Like, I mean a lot when you share a video. Um, it takes two seconds. Uh, if you go to the bottom left-hand corner, um, you can totally make that happen. So, ah, curl over here. Maybe, maybe throw in a little bit of a thicker line over here to kind of balance that out. Um, and then uh, for everything else, maybe you can throw little thin lines around here to kind of give it a little bit more detail. Or you can do this like under the neck. And a line under here. If there's any other mixtures you want to see as well, please write them in the description. I will totally also make that happen if you kind of do that, okay? One under here, maybe even like a little bag under the eye, he's tired. Um, that's mostly it. I want to thank you very much. You are amazing. You definitely put in a lot of hours and work. Uh, what I want you to do is I want you to kind of, you know, really appreciate that you're practicing and you're doing this stuff. Because no matter what happens with everything, um, drawing is going to be like a good skill to hone and have and kind of like impress family, impress friends. You can always kind of do stuff with it as well, being a designer. Um, but thank you so much. I appreciate all that you've done. You are amazing. Okay. Don't forget that. Um, and like I said, if you want to reach out, I'm very, very, very responsive. Just say something in the comments and I will reply to it. Okay. Even if it's just hi, just say hi in the comments. I will say hi back. Try it out. Okay. Talk to you later. I'll see you soon. And, uh, I'll see you in the very next video. Okay. See you later.